just about slide out from that one. Caught in the left arm, inside forearm again as it came off the ropes. It's the third time he might have fallen for that one. Mister trying tackle Yamada. And if he gets this one close press, he's got the boat. Ashley over the top cross press, yes, he's got it. He's it there, right? Nick's are done just inside the ropes in one minute, eight seconds of round six. And the equalizing fall to Rocco. Let's have a look at how that he did this. Rocco Ray at the wrong end of a lot of this but round, but Rocco Ray he comes back now. The foot first, follow up, double arm suplex, over the top, cross press, and grabs the leg, and that's it for Yamada, the equalizer in the sixth. Seconds away, round seven. Round seven. Nine to go. One to fall each. One public warning against Rocco. That's a grabbing one in case you don't know. Did you never see one? It's a grabbing. I'm quite sure he's talking to. He's looking at me. Talking to the ref, but staring at me. the corner where Mark Rocker got his public warning just now. Oh, high drop kick. Seemed to be in the air for seconds there before it landed. And he's going out after him. Referee counting them both. He spotted the punch. Outside the ring. Shop and Yamada going to height again with a drop kick missed. The ring the was going right through there. Oh, out over the top, waist out of the top, broke. Rocco gets a quiet talking to for the ref there, too. And Yamada now from behind, almost getting him in the position that he got him last time. And he's got him. No. Rocco with the advantage of the ropes now. One minute to go. Round seven. Crutch hole. Rocco. He's going for the pile driver. There it is. And a follow through cross press. And it looks like Rocco's got him. He's got him. Rocco gets his title back in round seven. It took him just two minutes, 15 seconds of round seven to do it. With a pile driver. Well, ladies and gentlemen, round seven and the deciding fall, the winning fall. So again, the world heavy middleweight champion is Rocco. Well, he's got it back. Mark Rock will be happy now. He's been looking forward so much to this return bout, and he's made the most of it. A win in just seven rounds. It'd be tough for John Harris to get his microphone back here. and look what a round of applause he gets. Great cheers. A wonderful effort. But he didn't hold the title for too long. Maybe he'll get another chance again. 
don't know why he's talking to him. He doesn't understand a word of English. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in the ring to present the belt and the bouquet, we have the house manager of the Lotion Theatre, Mr. Robin Henley. And the belt's on him again. And that's about it from here at the Lewisham Theatre. Next Saturday's bill will be topped by the really big hey, man, Giant no Haystacks versus John Kowalski. Why Meantime, like it's bye from all of us at Cadford. It Have a good week. Till next week. If you'd have promised it a little bit, You're never give him back to me. Do it like this. I promised this belt every day of my life. Next time I see you, I want to take it out of your hide for letting my belt get in a dirty state. Just tell him who the champion is.